Hey, this is a video about helping your students see videos on YouTube that sometimes are blocked by the YouTube um, filters. The district is utilizing um, YouTube uh, restrictions for students, uh, not for staff, but for students. And sometimes when you give them a link to go watch something, they may get a message that it's unavailable and it's because of the res restrictions. It may be a perfectly fine video to you, but for some reason, YouTube is flagging it. So I'm gonna show you quick a way to predict if it may be blocked. Now this isn't 100% ironclad and I'd only apply it to maybe high school students at this point uh, because high school is on a different level of restriction than elementary and middle elementary and middle are on like the strictest restriction. So I'm not sure if, you know, what I'm going to show you would show you those, you know, levels, but I think this might help uh, for high schools. So if you log into YouTube and you go to a video and what I mean by logged into YouTube, I can see my Bethlehem account here. And then I go to that icon in the upper right and down at the very bottom it says restricted mode is off. Uh, I'm going to click on that and as a teacher I can turn it off and on. Now students can't turn it off but I can kind of go back and forth. So I'm going to activate it and then it reloads and then it shows me that when the restriction is turned on this video is unavailable. So that tells me that if I want to make it available to my students, I need to do something and I'm going to use play pause it to do that. So I'm going to get out of restricted mode. So I'm going to go back to the icon, click on this restricted mode and then turn it off so I can actually do something with it. And then I'm going to copy the link to it. So I'm just going to click on copy and I got that to, at the share button. I'm going to go into my Schoology course wherever I'm going to share this with them. Um, so uh, I'm going to go into Add Materials and we can access Play Pause it by going to Add Materials, Add File Link, External Tool, and then External Tool is the Play Pause it portal. Okay, so you're going to click on External Tool and then choose Play Pause it and you're gonna make the actual link for the kids. Uh, so I'm gonna call it this because this is the name of the video. Now, if you're just gonna make it available to them and you don't want it graded, just leave this unchecked. If you decide, mm, maybe I wanna make it graded, maybe I'm gonna put some questions in it, maybe you then wanna click on enable grading and give it the points and all of that stuff. But just to give them access, I'm not gonna enable grading and I'm gonna click on submit. It's gonna be down at the bottom of the course. So I'm gonna put that where I want it. I'm gonna bring it up here. Okay. And I'm gonna click on it to enter play posit. So there's no link here yet. What we're gonna do is make our video with a YouTube video, and then we're going to put the video here we're going to set the link to that video here so i'm going to enter play pause it and then i'm going to click on add new bulb because i'm going to make a new play pause it bulb of our youtube video that the kids can't see so i'm going to click on add new bulb and i'm going to enter in this by just clicking on the white background and it's saying okay where's your video at I'm going to choose input URL because I have the YouTube link. I'm going to click on the input URL, input link, and then copy it in. And then it found it, which is good. Then I'm going to click on this checkbox here. This is important. Enable network bypass so that this is going to get around the YouTube restrictions by clicking that. Then as you can see, I have three stops here. So I did the video source. I'm gonna click, or I'm gonna actually click here on customize. I wanna get to captions because I wanna fetch the YouTube captions if they're there 
so that students could see the words while they're watching it. So let's see if it can get those captions. I'm going to click fetch and it found the English ones and those are the ones I want. Great. Then I'm going to click on customize just to show you what you can do here. You can shorten the video. So maybe you only want to show the first five minutes of it. So, you know, you're kind of like customizing it even more for your purposes. Okay, so you have that capability. You can actually cut out internal pieces of it too, like in the middle by clicking on add internal crop. But I'm going to click on done because all I wanted to do was put the video in, play pause it, and click that bypass so I can bypass the filter. I'm going to click on review. I could click on interactions to add questions, but I'm not going to. I'm going to click on review. I'm going to go to playback options and I'm going to see, do I want them to be able to fast forward? Um, there are no interactions and there are no interactions here. So these don't apply. I'm going to allow them to increase the playback speed. Um, you may not want them to do that. They'll get a similar control like they do in uh, YouTube to speed it up or slow it down. And for privacy, um, it's saying it's visible to members of the district. So like when the students log in with their account, they'll see it. So you can leave it there or put it onto public. It's up to you. If you at one point are going to make this available say outside of Schoology and someone else may watch it, like a parent, you might want to put it on public. Um, so, but right now it's just for kids and I'm going to click on save changes and then I'm going to click on save. So it saved it. So now what I got to do, I'm going to close this up. It took me back to Schoology and now I have this video here. If you don't see the video here that you just made um, or you can't find it, okay, you can refresh the window here to get a fresh update. And then if you do that, you got to click on enter play pause it again. And here it is. So this is the video and I could just click here to set the ball blank. I got to do this so that it appears in Schoology. So I'm going to click on the S, click on link, and there it is. It's ready to go. When my, when my um, students come here, they're going to see this. So I'm going to switch to a student in the course. And then this is what it looks like. And they'll be able to play it. They can um, change the speed. They can choose the English. There we go. So there you go. There's how you can bypass the YouTube filters uh, and restrictions.